My name is Joel Cummins. I play keyboards and I'm a vocalist for the band Umphreys McGee out of Chicago. I also play keyboards for Digital Tape Machine and keyboards for Umphree, which is a uh, kind of a merging of uh, a couple guys from Umphreys and um, Chris Poland from Megadeth and Robbie Pagliari from Ohm. I started playing piano at age eight. Uh, my parents uh, told me that I needed to pick an instrument and uh, figure out what it was that I wanted to play and, and give it a shot. And so I chose piano, um, mostly because the, uh, the keyboardist and organist at our church that, uh, that we went to was this amazing player. Um, she would play you know, Bach cantatas, really challenging pieces um, every week and something different. So I figured that would be a good, uh, good starting place. So. Studied with her for 10 years and uh, uh, got a degree in music theory from the University of Notre Dame with um, a concentration in piano performance. I have a lot of different, a lot of different heroes and inspirations. I would say, um, probably my top musician overall, uh, Miles Davis, is really my hero um, for, you know, his ability to play, obviously, and his ability to write. But his risk taking of changing his sound, and you know, it was like he he changed music and and changed the direction of music three or four different times throughout the course of his uh, his playing history. Um, and then, uh, as far as keyboard players, you know, I grew up um, really into uh, really into Bruce Hornsby. Definitely a huge fan of Keith Jarrett. Uh, that the the Kern 1975 performance of him doing solo piano, completely improvised, um, just blows my mind, and it's something I can still listen to, and is incredibly fresh. I'd say most recently, 
Um, I just I can't get enough of Donny Hathaway. Um, he's really uh, definitely my favorite player of the Wurlitzer and um, just such a soulful singer. So really, um, yeah, lots of, I'm sure I'm going to find somebody else in the next couple of weeks that's going to blow my mind too. That's the amazing thing about music. There's always more happening and more to be discovered. My name is Manny Sanchez and I work here at the IV Lab. We are currently in uh, the vault studio and uh, this is where I produce records. I started out primarily just, you know, engineering and mixing and I, I only started to get comfortable with the production side of it uh, more recently. And I guess what I've been doing as far as production I've been doing my whole career, it's just now I kind of have a, a way to quantify it. And, and I, I don't think it's very unique compared to other guys that I know that do it. It's, you know, I, I, I get demos of all the songs and, um, I, you know, I'll, I'll map out all the songs the way they have them. And then what I'll do is f try and find ways to make the arrangements more exciting. And, and all I'll do is give suggestions. I mean, I'm, none of it is the final say. And I think, most of the bands I work with appreciate that. Going into the studio and, and recording and trying to create memorable ideas is, is kind of a different thing than, um, than the live performance, which is kind of what Humphreys McGee is known for. Um, so as the years have gone, I, I've learned a lot of different things, kind of what to do and what not to do. Um, but I, I think in general, you have to put, put everything else aside and really just zone in on exactly what it is that you're doing and relax and have a good time with it because you can when you listen back to something you can hear and feel the energy in whatever the performance is that you're doing um, so I, I think those are the those are the main things it's just like you kinda gotta train yourself to have a good time and realize that there are gonna be some imperfections that happen but um, but that's why we have Manny because he makes me sound much better than I actually play um, <laughs> Sometimes we go for, with him, Joel, we've <clears throat> done a lot of experimental kind of piano recording where you know, we've gone for a really compressed sound or a distorted sound just because in his band situation we're usually competing with a lot of other elements. So in order to get the keyboards to kind of pop out and have their space, we have to do a little bit more processing, but today it was really natural.
so live live performance and studio performance are two totally different animals. Um, one of the most kind of obvious differences is that with the studio performance, if you blow it the first time, you just stop and you go back and do it again. All right, I got to start over. I was blowing it left and right. And you can also take your time with it. You know, if you want to develop an idea over the course of six months, you can do that. You know, and um, with the advent of Pro Tools, it's it's really amazing that. You can, you can chop this stuff up and make something where, you know, if you needed to do it in three takes or you needed to slow it down and play it in half speed, you can do it and it, and it sounds great now. Um, you know, you don't, have, you don't have the whole tape splicing anymore, which uh, a lot of people did back in the 70s and 80s. Um, and live, of course, you know, you're going for obviously an accurate performance, but it's more about, the, it's more about creating the feeling of, you know, a band being up there and delivering something that's greater than the sum of its parts. And um, so they're both really completely different, but very exciting and very essential to creating a, a full sound. a good story so I'll tell it not many people know it uh, uh, I've known the Umphreys McGee monitor engineer Bob Stone for uh, many years we kind of grew up in the same area uh, in the west suburbs here and knew each other in college and <clears throat> I hadn't seen him in a while and I had already started engineering and I'm not even sure if I knew that he was working for Humphreys because uh, I'm not even sure that I really knew much about the band. But I was working at Chicago Recording Company and a mutual friend of ours was getting married. And we ended up talking at his wedding and he was said to me, he's like, yeah, you know, we're trying to work on it, finish our album and the band just kind of wants to hear like a new approach, mixing. And I was like, I was like let me take you into the studio and we'll do, a, we'll do a, a quick mix of a song and we'll just see if the band likes it. I won't charge you anything. And uh, um, so we went into the studio and spent about three hours on a mix for the song in the kitchen, uh, which is on that album. And we ended up using most of that mix. I think we added some elements to it, but uh, that song we ended up using from that first initial test mix. And I think I've mixed everything and recorded everything uh, for them since. <laughs>
So in 2008, um, we moved the piano in here. We moved my, uh, my Wurlitzer piano in here. And it was the kind of thing I knew Manny was looking for one. And for pianos, they need to be played. And with how much we're on the road, it wasn't something where I was getting enough playing time on it even. So having it come here and, and having all these other great musicians play on it and do stuff on it um, was exactly what I wanted to happen. When we get off the road, you know, you would think, well, you know, probably want to hang out at home or do stuff that's not musical. But it's funny because it's like I might be home for one day and by that second day I'm ready to like go back and do stuff. So um, I found that a lot of my days off I actually end up over here working on things, be it, you know, stuff for uh, digital tape machine, stuff for Humphreys. Um, I've, I've done it probably about like 15 to 20 different solo piano tracks that we just haven't done anything with yet because we're, you know, just accumulating things at this point. But um, yeah, the, the, having my instrument here um, is a really, it's a really special thing and it's, it's, uh, it's, I'd say it's kind of an honor. Ha, ha, ha.